Boxing King Media in association with Box Row. Frank Smith, be honest, underneath that shirt, is there a Chris Eubank Jr. t-shirt on? Hairy chest. 60% hairy. Nothing with Chris Eubank Jr. written on it? No, I might shave the hairs though and just put a 60% in. Just uh, No, I am I'm purely conflicted. So I, I'm, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to go home tomorrow. I'm going to miss the show. I'll watch it on the Zone pay-per-view. Good stuff. Obviously, you're probably going to get bored of being answering that question about you know which side you're picking. But obviously, you're involved with both guys. You know, right now, obviously, you've seen the preparation both guys have had. Who do you think's going into the fight as um, probably the favourite? Yeah, I word of that. Who's the favourite? Well, I think they both got uh, positives and negatives taken in this fight. You know. Connor's coming up 10 pounds to 157 a weight he's never boxed at. And at the same time, Chris is, is coming down in weight to a weight he hasn't been, I think, since he was saying he was 18. So there's both got elements in there that are going to help them in the fight. Um, I think, you know, I think the pressure, I think the more pressure is on Chris because if he loses, he can't fight for a world title. You know, like what his, his idea of carrying on is sort of over. He can't go and fight. Gennady Golovkin or someone like that if he gets beat by Conor Ben, and I think Conor Ben, you know, ultimately people will look at him, he's coming up, he's taking more of the risk ultimately in terms of boxing because, you know, he's going in there with a much bigger guy. Chris has been in there with people at 168, the likes of George Groves, a massive puncher, probably was 180 odd in the ring that, you know, when he boxed him and I think, you know, they've both got things they can take from it you know like say negative points positive points but I think we're in for a great fight I'm not going to say who's going to win I'm not going to say who's favorite but I think it goes 12 rounds that was going to be my next question if it goes the distance you announced today Virgin Media are going to be uh, putting the fight on you know on pay-per-view you want to explain how people can purchase that yeah so obviously you've got two routes you've got the DAZN traditional DAZN.com pay-per-view route that we've used for in the US, UK, that is go on there very quick, two, three steps, sign up, etc. You get a month free to zone subscription if you're not already a subscriber. Um, and then you've got Virgin Media, which, like I say, works on your on your Virgin Media box as it usually would do for pay-per-view. So it's great for the distribution. Um, and I think we're going to see huge numbers on Saturday night. Have you guys got like a number that you've got to achieve? Like, let's say if it does less than a certain number, it'd be classed like a, a failure, for example. Look, we have our own internal targets with the zone that we're working towards, but I truly believe this can this can easily exceed the numbers we've set. It's a massive, massive fight. You know, they've got so so much of a story around this, and you know, you've actually got two fighters who have built themselves their own career outside of the paths of their fathers. We're not just talking about two guys who. I've had two fights and like chuck them in together because their fathers had big fights. Both of these guys have been on their own route, have built their own story and built their own career. This is a major point, a major night. I think it's both. I think it's the biggest fight the two of them will be in. Um, massive show. And any news on Chris Eubank Sr., you know, as of from yesterday, we are saying he's boycotting the event. Any news? Is that factual or is he just uh, playing games? Let's see. You know, obviously Chris Eubank Sr. will have his own opinion on the on the fight, um, I don't know, let's see if he turns up. And I just want to get your opinion on, uh, obviously you're going to be asked about it today, Fury, AJ, um, who does it suit if the fight don't get made? Does it suit you guys more or is it does it not affect them guys more, the fact that they're not got an opponent for December? Uh, look, I think ultimately AJ wants to fight anyone. I think Tyson Fury, I think Tyson Fury needs AJ more than AJ needs Tyson Fury, in truth because Tyson Fury isn't going to do the numbers he needs to against the likes of Manuel Jar. It's just not going to do any business because no one's interested in the fight. Um, you know, AJ can still have big fights and, uh, and sell out arenas. You know, he's shown it time and time again. So I think it's Tyson Fury that's going to be more of a hit for. And if it does go down the route of Chisora, is that fight going to be negotiated with you guys or is Chisora doing his own thing going direct? You know, we've worked with Chisora for a long time. He's obviously with 258 as well. Um, you know, let, let's see. I don't think he's going to fight Derek Chisora, though. I think he's going to fight Manuel Char. I think that's what they're going to do. Any latest news on Lawrence Coley? He's, he's been off the news for quite a while. Uh, not yet. No, we're working through things, but uh, no, no update on that front. Frank, anything else you want to tell us before I let you go? Saturday night. Don't miss it. Thezone.com. Buy the pay-per-view. Massive night. And uh, I'll be watching it there with you. Sporting one of the two. Sporting the sport.